this is Alexia Totsis from TechCrunch TV, and I am here with Lennox Aer Aerospace. And uh, your name's? I'm Benjamin Chung. Look for Regina. Guys, you got my phone. <laughs> I'm Benjamin Chung. I'm Luke Ferrugia. And I'm the mentor, Russell Miller. So what is Le Linux Aerospace? Um, well, this is the, uh, our team name for the Conrad of Foundation Spirit of Innovation Award 2011. You're so literal. <laughs> I, before I asked him what does he do, and he said, it's, I'm a student. <laughs> what is it? So what do you guys do? What is, it, what is your product? Um, uh, the SSS-1, or Space Scaffold Structure 1. What is the space scaffold structure? Um, it's a flat pack way to send up modules into space and then construct them. So it's a lot cheaper and more efficient than the way they do it now. What is a module? A module is it's kind of like a room in space. A room in space. <laughs> yes. So you're sending up rooms into space. Yes. And you have to build the rooms in space? Uh, yeah. Well, the, the rooms themselves are cubes and then we have cuboids that link together. So you can go from each room to another room to another room. So what problem is this solving? Um, well, at the moment, you can only send up one um, module from each launch. But because our flat pack, we can fit a lot more things in and then send them up, and it's a lot more cheaper. How did you come up with this idea? Um, it was actually in school because well, we were, it was an English lesson, and our English teacher was ill. So we took the liberty to use that time to make our design. English teachers should get sick more often. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we would have more engineers. Um, so you took the liberty, your English teacher was sick, and so you're like, let's make, let's build a rocket module. No, we just, <laughs> we sat together and we like, we used the time to brainstorm, yeah, and we came up with this idea. Was it specifically for the Innovation Summit? Um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> we were trying to think of ideas of what to do for it. Originally, it was not going to be like on its own, like just that. It was actually going to be like an expansion on the ISS for extra room because the problem they had was like they have to sleep together, so there isn't really that much privacy. So, the idea with um, the, you know, the SSS one, we can like stick on a couple of cubes and then they get like you know, room to actually like communicate with their own family. You know, or you know, just sleep in their own room, or you know, whereas just sleeping with another person who could snore and oh, not keep you up. Awful. <laughs> keep you well, there's stuff you can do for snoring. Like there's like a little muzzle that you can put in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the astronauts don't care. I'm, I'm sure they have more pressing problems than mm -hmm. snoring. But no, it could get annoying. Yeah. If you're sitting there with like a to horrible roommate and you're in space, <laughs> like having a horrible roommate on Earth sucks, but like in space, it was just murder. Uh, let's see your, your, your prototype here. So how does this work? <laughs> Can't exactly, it doesn't really work anymore now. <laughs> how well, does it not work? Yeah, it, it's kind of broke, but <laughs> the, the cubes have petals on them, so then when they fold out, it locks into place on the cube. Um, so then you can... <laughs> so you then might want to have that fixed before you go on stage. We've already, We've already oh, okay. done it. <laughs> how was presenting? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Were you nervous? Yeah, a bit, but it was all right once we got on. <laughs> so yeah, and then you can have cubes, cuboids coming in from all the other angles, so you can have another cuboid here, and then a cube here, and then keep extending it until you get the structure that you want. You can just expand in all three dimensions. Yeah. So that's a big benefit. And uh, if you get the 500, the five, okay, five, sorry. My old, uh, regular job. If you get the if you get the five k, if you get the five k, what are your what are your plans to bring this into fruition? Like uh, how well, are you make we would have to do more work on modeling and then like developing the idea more, and then we would have to like try and form contacts with other companies because we would need another company to help like manufacture and design it further to what like see it become reality. It? Pardon? What material is it? Um, it's got quite a lot of layers into it. Mix. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's got radiation shielding, um, carbon fiber honeycombing, and then all other layers, and then sealing as well. Awesome! Thank you guys so much.